Hello, this is Tara again. I am wanting to share the order that I received from Wild Whisper this week. Um, there are two new collections and I don't know how many people know about Wild Whisper, but they're a Canadian company and they have some really interesting um, uh, color schemes for their, like they don't tend to follow everybody else's uh, vibe for the year. They kind of do their own thing and it really stands out. Um, it's really nice quality paper, very thick. Um, so this one is called In Nature and with these two collections they introduce these new fussy cut pages so it has a lot of interesting elements and um, some phrases. So I really love, I love the teals mixed with the pinks. It's a, it's kind of a gray teal, not something that I have very much of in my collection. So I'm, I was really pumped to get this one. I got the double pack of this. So you get two of each sheet in this double pack and the backs of the, uh, the branding sheet on the front ha also has an extra pattern. So, um, I appreciate the extra the extra sheet that goes into this so that's has all your colors in a really interesting pattern um, so when they were showing this live uh, in one of their weekly lives all I could think of is wouldn't this be beautiful so a lot of these would be really lovely as uh, wallpapers so that's all your little bugs you get your dragonflies and your butterflies and whatever the heck that is um, Anyway, super fun. You could fussy cut those out. Um, and then the back, well, let's just do this, is a, a photorealistic one of, I guess, would you call those daisies or corn? Yeah, daisies of some sort, but uh, really, really pretty. And uh, then you get into some black and white with some cartoony bits on there. Love that. You could color in those if you were so inclined and then the back is this uh, floral mod floral type pattern um, this one's really nice very uh, neutrally colors in my opinion I call consider gray and green neutrals but uh, I love that be beautiful with just like some black accents on there um, and black matting and whatnot and then the back is this gorgeous piece and actually oh that would be really nice matted like that or vice versa actually any of these right so anyway that's really nice more bugs this one has birds and this one is cut apart sheet with uh, a lot of extra see all the phrases I think are pretty much different it does not hurt. Yeah, they're different from what you get on, well, different colors anyway, of uh, what was on the, the new fussy cut sheet. Smells. Life is a race, not a race, it's a journey. Ain't that the truth? And then this one, this beautiful teal, gray teal again. And then another cut apart sheet on that one. So you get lots of, uh, very usable. So um, with that, you can get uh, the, par the card pack, which, so even on uh, the cover sheet for this, you get more cutter parts in the back. Um, so, and they're double-sided, so like fussy th cut that out or like beautiful just beautiful nice sizes like you get a nice variety of so not everything's teeny tiny not everything's a big um, big scale so nice those and then you've got some four by sixes love the snails who else has oh Vicky Putin did snails and what was that? Uh print shop. That's a 
beautiful ombre. Each moment of the year has its own beauty. And a few more. Comes with a ton, like, really. And again, very nice uh, bird chirping weather. Very nice quality. So, um, the other thing that you can get are the flare, which are beautiful. Love flare. Is there glare on that? No. And so during the live, uh, actually this week, we were talking about sequin mixes and what might go nicely with them. So I went through my Spiegel Mum scraps and found a couple that I think would work with it. And for that, why don't we do this? So you can kind of see a mix of everything. So this one is in, I don't know if it's new, but it's one I just got. It's Road Trip. So that looks beautiful with it. Farmhouse Blush. And um, Vintage Heart, I thought. So it would depend on which colors you're are kind of focusing on for your layout for those. So there was that one. And then the other one that was new is, and I only got the single pack of these because I don't know it's a little more um, theme specific so but it's called moving on up and again like I mean look at that color palette you don't see I don't see anything like that really but like little houses and all the moving stuff and you could use this for a lot as well but that's the fussy cut sheet then you've got um, that's the back of the front page and then all your labels and moving truck paper, but in that pretty teal. So you could probably mix, do a mixy mix with them, with the, the other new one. Where's that sheet? Like, so that I think is lovely together. Anyway, um, could probably use about a whole pack of. 25 of those um, more boxes and uh, dolly some words different colored houses and keys that's a neat one front doors and welcome home mat and uh, just home 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 this one is pretty neat again I could I could take a full pack of 25 of those very easily and keys it's almost, I don't, <laughs> you couldn't use that whole thing. I'm going dizzy just looking at this one. But uh, cut apart some in the back. So then, again, you had your cards with it. Or you purchased separately, but cut apart. So, I mean, a lot of these you wouldn't necessarily have to use with this collection, like Home Sweet Home, Beautiful Beginnings. That could be anything. That doesn't have to be moving. That's just cute. That's pretty. Oh, I love that with the, uh, the corrugated cardboard boxes and the wine. Like, you could use that for anything. Hello, home ownership. But arrows, again, use any for anything corrugated all packed up dream home <laughs> mm. I love it we're supposed to be probably well I mean no nothing's uh, nothing's final until it's final but hopefully building next year so I'm thinking of these for that and then again, the flare badges, new home, heavy door. You could use for anything, the plant, the house, fresh start. So very, not, not uh, kit specific, but, and then I had a harder time with this collection because it is such an unusual color scheme to find a mix that would work. But um, the twigs and twine from Spiegel Mum Sprat scraps looks nice. And for some of these, maybe not the peachy so much, but the other colors looked really nice from Frolic Along. So 
I'm looking forward to getting using this, but this one I'm, I think I'm going to keep until next year or if I might have to buy another one. <laughs> so um, that was that. And then, so there was some sale items on their website that I thought I'd have a look at. Um, poor decisions. <laughs> I loved the colors in this. Like even if, even if you didn't want the, the bottles or whatever. Like, you can use that color to matte other things, but uh, just really unusual, interesting patterns. And the colors. I love the colors of the beer. And um, I did pull out a, a sequin mix to match this one too. 80s night. Look how pretty that is. The, the chartreuse, chartreuse green you can never go wrong with. So that was uh, Poor Decisions. And then I purchased a few uh, stamp sets as well. This one I've been wanting for a while. And uh, my local scrap store doesn't have it. So I... I did that's kind of the reason I purchased directly from Wild Whispers website this time but I love this and it's marked down to I want to say 60% off so it's a good one and then this one I thought was really unusual baubles and bits but like it's a Christmas line but the the kitty cat and the the cool tree and the, I don't stamp a lot but I had to have this one uh, and then I did get a few sequin mixes that they had left because at one point Spiegel Mom and Wild Whisper did collaborate. So this one was four. It matched a, matched a line. I can't remember which one. And then this one was four. Can't More Worry Less, which uh, goes with a lot of outdoor collections. So I grabbed those. And then the other thing was I had... Uh, won a prize, a door prize, for just uh, participating in one of their live chats. So they sent me these little um, houseplant edition, play in the dirt, of these cute little stamp stamps and the cards to go with it. So like really pretty colors again and I don't have this collection and I don't think you can get it anymore I think it's a retired one but I'll show you in a second what I've got that looks nice with it like look how pretty that is with all the colors and the wood grain on the back look at that oh nice so these but I do have and this is called just because but look how pretty those match this is like a very it's just these three colors well the chartreuse the teal and then this pretty gray but like come on shame plants not people so I really like, I haven't used this one a whole lot yet. I pulled some papers to make up the kit, but I haven't actually, this I got not long ago. It, it's an older one, like it's 2019, but it's one that I hadn't had. But very different designs, very different color palettes from this company. Really nice. Oh, and then this, wait, why do I have a masculine in with that? Oh, and I do, yeah. This goes well with it too, doesn't it? Okay, so I have a lot of the masculine papers as well. I've used, done a couple of layouts with them. And then I just, in my last order from um, Scrapbooking Oasis, which is an online store, but it's only about an hour away from here. So I like to support Canadian companies or little stores if I can. Um, the Halloween Night, is this, this is an older one too. But I like this type of stuff. 
kind of puts me in the mind of what Heidi Swap with came out or Heidi Swap came out with last year or even this year hers are along this lines or you know it's kind of Tim Holtzy a little bit really fun spooky anyway oh and what else oh, they gave um sorry and then they threw in a couple of uh little three by four cards with my my prize too so just some some random little bits to go with whatever but always appreciated and i thank wild whisper for that um that's it that's enough right <laughs> Anyway, check out Wild Whisper if you haven't already. If you're if you're from the U.S., you maybe haven't had a chance to look at them. I know they have a couple of design team members that live in the states, so maybe maybe you've run across them. But um, the paper is lovely. It's that thick. Um, it reminds me of Paper Rose Studio, their style of paper, as far as the thickness and it's it's like a very smooth and it. It's not super shiny, but it does have a bit of a sheen to it. Anyway, it's a it's a good it's a good company to dip your toe into, and if you do, come back and let me know what you thought of it. I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much, and have a great day. We'll talk to you again.